All right. Hello, everybody. My name's Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round two of day one B. It is the second opportunity for Swiss here at the Las Vegas Open, put on by Fly Better. Super excited to be here. We have Daniel Perez versus Chris Alvey here on the table. Uh, we got some first order versus the Rebellion. Now, real quick, as you notice, we do have some color coding on Daniel's side. Um, we have un been unable to get the uh, the tie. Basically, the last wave of ships are, are, are not up yet uh, symbol-wise. But uh, you can see at the beginning of the lines of each of their names, we have the colors there. So if there's so that we try to try to keep things on the up and up here. Uh, super excited to see what we what we get um, on here. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up that choose your champion betting. If you were uh, play, if you chose player one last round, you were the winner. Let's see what we get today. It is time for you to choose your champion. Today I am joined by my good friend, the Wookie himself, William Hegwood. Hello, Dion. Hello, everyone out there in Internet land. Thank you for joining us. You know, sometimes, uh, I, you know, I wonder, you know, in my imaginary world, you know, like, you know, I'm the pilot, you're the co-pilot. And, like, did Han Solo just understand, like, when he listened to Chewbacca talk, was it just like, it just was normal? Like, it didn't yeah. just auto-translate in the mind? Yeah, he, he yeah. learned it. He learned it beforehand. Right? He just had full Shri Wook. If I'm the Wookiee, I would have to assume Marcel's Han Solo. I think you're more Leia than Luke. Wow. That's wow. A compliment. At least I'm hot. All right, let's go. <laughs> I would take that as a compliment. A respected military general. A respected military general. All right. <laughs> and I get to Mary Poppins at some point. All right, okay, let's go Mary ahead Poppins. and let's go ahead and break down these lists. All right. Daniel Perez on our left with the first order is flying. Those are two Sinar Jamus test pilots. Of course, the FO bombers, they're going to have that beautiful ship chassis ability pursuit thrusters. During the system phase, you can perform a boost action. That's our proxy mines equipped as well. Uh, so that they can actually boost and then drop those big old pizzas. Uh, what is what I De call it? I death think? pizzas. Yeah, beaver, beaver slap or ankylosaurus uh, <laughs> swing of uh, those uh, death pizzas coming out the back. Uh, super affordable as well. They're only 37 points. Love to see it. They also have the Epsilon Squadron Cadet. Oh, we're getting to him, Dion. Don't you worry. Got it, got it, got it. Yep, uh, three of these Epsilon Squadron Cadets, uh, just the generic FO, three agility, four health, uh, super efficient for only 26 points. Uh, but rounding out the list, Dion, this hey. is the the Psy Shuttle. This is going to be Gideon Hask. So Gideon Hask allows these other ships to basically roll an additional die at range two and three if the defender is damaged. They mm -hmm. will receive a strength for this, but we have uh, them as very low initiatives. So they could actually have a chance to clear the strain before getting shot at. This Gideon's equipped with elusive for defensive rerolls. Uh, we have tactical officer for white coordinate, which is what you're going to need to use for General Hux. What? What? No, nobody plays Gen. What is, what is? What is this? Uh, so Hux says, "While you perform a white coordinate action, which was given to you by the tactical officer, you may treat it as red. If you do, you may coordinate up to two additional ships of the same ship type. And each ship you coordinate must perform the same action, treating that action as red. So not only." Uh, let's, uh, the thing I want to look at is the Epsilon Squadron Cadets Dial. That's the Psy Shuttle. No. Nope. You're, you're a Psy Shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the, uh, 
ability here for Hux to give these three FO fighters extra actions, but they have the blue maneuvers, the hard two specifically, uh, to keep them in the fight while doing red actions. That means that they could easily get focus, target lock, and then a third die attack from Gideon as well. Could be very powerful. Uh, so I'm just uh, gonna have to read this card a few times because we've, we've seen it so little bit. Three coordinates. Three coordinates. Everybody's stressed. All y'all. Everybody's getting a stress. Hux is stressed. I'm and stressed. And everybody who's coordinating. You're stressed. Stress. You're stressed. You're stressed. But you got a token. But it, yeah, but it's turns one action into three. All right. Cool. I think I got it. Right. That's why it's so uh, not so good on the bombers because the bombers do not have very good blue maneuvers to clear stress. But mm -hmm. on the FOs, a lot of different options there. Now, on the other side here, Chris Alvey flying the Rebel Alliance. We're going to start with Wedge Antilles. Uh, Wedge it an I-6 X-Wing. When they attack, the defender rolls one fewer attack dice. Has elusive for some defensive re-rolls as well. We got Hera Sundula in the B-Wing. She has the ability to share her tokens with friendlies at range one to two. Uh, for this B-Wing, we're mostly looking at locks and focuses, but she does have the jamming beam and stabilized S-foils configuration equipped, so I could actually flip it over to get uh, bear rolls into evades as well. But mostly just gonna be locks and focuses to keep Wedge alive. Then uh, rounding off, her, her best friends uh, obviously are going to be in the squad as well. It's going to be Garvandreas. <laughs> Garvandreas has an amazing interaction with Hera. So uh, because Garvin can spend Hera's token, mm -hmm. and then after spending that focus token, can s give it to another ship at range one to three, you essentially can give it right back to Hera. So as long as Hera's got a focus, Garvin has infinite focuses assuming they're both ranged to each other. Uh, and to get some extra focuses and modifiers, we have Kyle Katarn, uh, who can, in the Hawk, well, an amazing ship, of course, but has the ability to sling a focus token to a friendly in the arc. Has an extra arc because of Molded Crow. You can hold up to two focus tokens at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. But the main card, though, Dion, is Jenner, so. She's so good. Jenner so completes this, uh, I think this is pretty much the new Heratani. Yep. It's uh, the new ensemble. Yeah. So Jenner so has this, the ability to trigger any time a ship receives a focus token. So whether that's when Kyle's slinging at the start of engagement, whether it's Hera giving a token to somebody to use, or whether that's Garvandreas giving that token to somebody after he spends it, or even on these X-Wings and uh, Kyle, they can just take the regular focus action and convert it into an evade token. So a lot of flexibility there. That rebellion flexibility, man, is so good. Yeah, and I think this has become uh, these three, Garvin, Wedge, and Kyle. It used to be Benthic uh -huh. for a while, um, back when you could get Leia and perceptive on him. Mm -hmm. But that was with A-Wing here, who was much cheaper. Um, not anymore, though. But I like this, though. So you get everybody can uh, get some good modifications. Everybody's shooting three dice out the front. And uh, they're just coming in. They're rolling into joust. We jousting, baby. Yeah, Kyle's got his focus tokens. Let's go. Now, uh, we didn't utilize the first player token in the last round. There wasn't any overlap in this one, though. We do have force overlap between Garvin and Gideon. So go ahead, uh, take a take a peek at that top of the screen. You'll mm -hmm. see that uh, that neon, uh, it's like a orange pink right there at the top of the board. We'll show you that's, who is the first player. That's red. I don't know what uh, I don't know what colors you're seeing today, Dion, but... 
I don't know, man. Oh, six nine nine nine. You know what I am saying? Six nine nine nine. Getting Ooh. three years straight. That's Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Getting getting that upgrade on uh, on that that uh, that swag on the side of his name. Let's do it. Yeah, this uh, this we actually I've normally seen it with either fire control system or uh, predator. Mm -hmm. Fire control system on Hera or Predator on Wedge. Uh, but taking a more defensive route here, which I do enjoy. Now, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about the obstacles because Gideon did uh, did end up hitting that cloud last Ooh, turn. Good so um, let we are playing with the updated obstacle rules, or soon to be. What, what, what was the word we used yesterday? Um, Two points. Incoming. Uh, incoming. Incoming. Yeah, there you go. So... As a note, now uh, Gideon didn't do it there, but you cannot perform actions while you're overlapping uh, the three obstacles, and you do, but you do not skip the perform action step if you fully execute a maneuver through an obstacle. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, here Gideon is overlapping that gas cloud, so he will remove all locks assigned to him. That includes locks he has and locks on, on his ship as well as a strain token we saw get thrown down. And then, after uh, executing the maneuver, on a hit result, you get one ion token, and on a crit result, the ship gains three. Luckily, Gideon is a medium base. Mm -hmm. Oh, he must have rolled the crit then? Yep. Well, I... Unfortunately. <laughs> It was fully ionized then. Yeah, I was expecting was to see uh, two ion tokens there, but works out all the same. Yeah, so any for any newer players out there, single ion um, will ionize a small base ship, two for a medium, three for a large base ship. Yeah, for, forced to do the one forward. I mean, you got the hard turn. And uh, you, sh you should be able to still be close enough to the formation, though we are going to be engaging this turn with Wedge uh, facing down those TIE Fighters. Uh, shout out to uh, Alan Barlow for gifting a sub, getting us to 136, and then followed by Imagineering Man. And Lan Bolo saying, round three, I'm going to take the sub lead. I'm going to take it. It's going to be Ooh, mine. Look out, Kelly. Kelliana can have his you. response. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. All right. I mean, he's, he's within striking distance. That's right. That's right. Kelliana was at 113 gifted subs for the month of January. Lan Bolo at 103. All right, Dylan. Looks like we have... Uh, Commence the uh, center joust. That's right, joust. You know what? I want you. We need to get an emote of a knight mm. with a jousting pole, like an animated one. As it's galloping. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Hey, somebody else has got one of my t-shirt designs on. Oh, I love guys. I love seeing y'all <laughs> wearing my t-shirt designs. Oh, looking good. All right, how are the bets looking right now? Let's take a look. The bets are off. Well, no, you over. probably uh, are a little bit late, my Wookiee friend, my look, my Wookiee barber. Um, and looks like Chris Alvey is a seventy percent favorite. They just they, they saw Rebels GSP ranked them as the highest. We did, uh, you know, S tier. Um, a faction. They underperformed yesterday. They did underperform or, or yesterday. They, Oof. They, a performed appropriately and we're overrating them maybe hard to say you know it, it, when we're doing faction whoa oh, Kelliana gave me what I wanted so Kelliana says no <laughs> respond <Limbo>. sir respond <laughs> fight me that was those Kelly are fighting Anna. words what <laughs> that is we're having there. there's a sub battle happening right now in the chat yeah. This <laughs> oh, oh man. Script shop. Oh. <laughs> wow. Kelliano. Two kinds. All right. Sir. Two kinds. <laughs> well, I guess we got some giveaways. I guess we got some giveaways. Stick around at the end of this round <laughs> for some giveaways. All right. 
<laughs> Looks like we are combo here, Dylan. Let's get this. All right, let's, let's get, get this, it. Uh, get it going. Here. We got uh, two hits and a focus coming in for that first shot. Make it three. We got two defensive dice being rolled there because of Wedge's ability. Right. Spend the focus, and that's going to be two damage into yep. process of elimination. That would be the green at TIE Fighter. Mm -hmm. So we saw Kyle sling that focus token over to him at the start of engagement, allowing him to take his own lock. There we go. Rolling in the box. Single crit. And that's going to do a damage because he spent the focus on the first one. Sure and the critical damage is a mystery crit. Looks like we'll see if it ends up mattering if we take him out. To me, but we'll find out. All right, half points right away. Let's see what Hera has. To, oh, I think that was Hera's shot. That, that was. So now we're going into Garvin then. Garvin, the G-Man, spending focus yep, like so he, he do. So he slings it to Hera. Nah, Hera's out there ready, ready to, to do a lateral. So uh, and that's one crit. damage, and that's going to be it, I think, for that green it, TIE Fighter. If that was a few, like, yeah, it's gone. All right, so we got first blood right away in the initial engagement. Zero to 26. Yep, it's gone. Few leak. Goodbye. That's going to leave... So uh, Super Steve saying Shirley Hask should have coordinated an invade. You know what? That would be nice if he had not been ionized. He was ionized. And you're forced to do a focus. You can only do a focus action after being ionized. Yeah, that was super unfortunate for Daniel. Two uh, focuses. Uh, two blanks, sorry. Nothing there. And, I mean, after that rebellion barrage, Chris Alvey uh, looking strong. Looking strong right here in the opening. Obviously, Daniel still got plenty of tech out there. You see, I love those bombers that are, flank Ooh, that are, are flanking. flanking. Yeah, yeah, going on in the sides. They did not want to be part of that job. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. You can shoot with the three agility guy. Uh, pipe cleaners are working. You can very much tell which one's which. All right. Ooh, two natties there. Nothing going through. Here we yep. go. For this first order, there is a tipping point, and it's the moment one's somebody's damaged. They mm -hmm. start activating Gideon and really laying in some three die attacks. And that 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 cloud has really hurt the opening. Here we go. Salvo coming in, hit crit coming in from the red Tie Fighter, safe yeah, no with the two squiggles there. With Jen Erso uh, and Hero's focus, she got from Garvin ready uh, to throw an evade at the nearest person defending. It's going to be hard to really put through some damage here with two dice attacks. And there's two hits. Oh, there you go. That's hey. how you do it. <laughs> how can you do damage? Well, roll, <laughs> roll is blanks. He, is he going to spend... Elusive. Elusive. So only going to take a single damage there on... He's not going to sling the... It's not going to sling the evade. Oh, because Hera can't pass range. Oh, wait. Now I. <clears throat> now he's talking about it. D is standing right there, so, so saw everything. He did flip the damage there already. D's so at the table right now. It's 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 a predicament because they did go into the deal damage step, which would technically be the end of dice modification. But I I believe yeah, that's it's a uh, what do I want to say? It's a tough ruling, mm -hmm. right? But it was a missed opportunity. He had gone right into damage. Uh, being taken, so uh, it is what it is. That's okay, though. All right. Just one damage, and the elusive gone off of Wedge. <laughs> oh, wait, no, uh, if it was off of Wedge, yeah, he couldn't pass the token, anyways, actually. Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't let's have double, been, check I'm here. pretty sure she's range one to one. Sorry. Yeah. You're good, you're good. Yeah, it's range one to two. One to so two. If it was that wedge, yeah. He couldn't do it anyway, so no big deal. 
It was played as appropriate. Uh, nothing was missed, actually. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, I keep switching these two, these two X wings. So uh, it's uh, wedge in the gray and Garvin in the black. Garvin in the black. That's what yeah. we'll do. We'll put. A, we'll we'll we make Garvin a little bit gray, as uh, as just like a quick visual. Okay. All right. So, obviously here we got some blocking opportunities for these guys if they want it. Everybody's going to be coming on in. We'll, we'll be getting some some uh, general get hucks this. action. General hucks action uh, here, right? Uh, potentially. All right, send I mean, some dials. Might be, I mean, if Hux turns and everybody just goes one forward, you know what I mean? Yeah. You might, you might be the person in danger. <laughs> I mean, Re Rebels came to joust, right? Oh, yeah, they're shooting. Another big reminder uh, for today, there's been a lot of uh, talk about upcoming rules and... Uh, uh, things coming uh, that have been announced but not uh, published, uh, including some like range zero and bumping a uh, what do I want to say? Bumping and what was the other thing? Range zero attacks, range zero, range zero attacks and bumping are not implemented in this tournament. Correct. We're only using road and. Uh, what we call hardcore obstacles. Hardcore, hardcore, hardcore obstacles. Uh, they're not to be trifled with. <laughs> That's they right. They will betray you. <laughs> Hit a rock, saw, I dare you. We saw very early on that uh, the crit ionizing Gideon there. Devastating. We've yet to see somebody like purposely hit a gas cloud to remove a lock on them. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for that big brain <laughs> play, you know? Risk, risking the ionization for that, huh? Oh, yeah. Obstacles are big now. Always have been. Well, the, and, uh, yeah, some people got a little soft with the, with the <laughs> initial gas clouds. <laughs> I'm scared of uh, take gas clouds. I would say, actually, between the games, there's not been a specific trend. People, Some people are still using it's gas clouds. Mm -hmm. Others pr prefer debris. We have uh, t three tiny rocks here that I assume are the first orders. Yep. Just because you have six ships, you know. All right. We got those moldy crow focuses out there. Oh, man. Look at that. That's a, that is a big turn here. Man. Flank. I want it. Yeah, the, oh man, the boost on my, these bombers. My only concern with that big of a turn is there's a good chance that we end up with a space parking lot. Here? Yeah. I think what he's, he was trying to set up is uh, is like a boost and drop a proximity mine. Maybe. I mean, ooh. Now, Garvin did win the initiative roll, so could K turn in behind here? But he wouldn't have known that before, you know? Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. Kyle's also in a weird spot because he's moving first in front of all these other rebels. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's got two focuses, right? He's probably fine. Just slide on in. The old tactical bump. Tactical bump. Oh, they're marking off ships. He might be trying to three bank out of there. Yeah. Okay. That's a potential move. Mm -hmm. Call, call. Oh, no, he ain't, dang it. Dang no he ain't getting the two bank. No, mm -mm. no. Three bank, maybe. No, that, that's more. That's just to uh, to line up that uh, those train tracks. Choo choo. It did clear Garvin, though. So had the TIE Fighter not came in for that uh, block. 
Hey, you, 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 good. you gotta love that the uh, the, the sub counter for that hundred drop by Kelliana is still going off in the corner. <laughs> it's coming off for a while. <laughs> Uh, well, we did it on Hex. What did you do on Hex, Stefiana? You tried to remind me. The obstacles? The clear, clear, I think clearing the target lock by blasting oh, through. Oh, so we'll do it on purpose? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Like, I'm not sure, sure sh what ship could, like, actively choose to do it, but... Is anybody who gets benefits for ions? I don't remember. Benefits for ions. I, don't think so. I have a red token, um, matchstick. Oh, true. Look, so at, look at my reroll. Though I guess if you had a red token anyway, <laughs> why would you do it? You had a lock. I guess you trade one one red for another. Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, so does is that why I think I uh, understand now why static discharge veins is banned in this format? Mm hmm Because you could hit a gas cloud and then give the ion to an enemy yeah that yeah that's gone okay that's gone that's interesting <laughs> yeah i never really understood the reason for that because all the other things are dial peaking all right expect expect that to be not standard extended only yeah that makes a lot of sense nothing is banned folks it's just just extended it's not only banning stuff okay so Garvin did move over, but didn't K turn, so was able to focus up, and he's gonna block Gideon there. Oh man, can, can we just take a second and think about how this turn would have felt so different, or could have had way different consequences with how much bumping just happened? Like I'm just thinking, by, by the time we get to Adepticon, right, and we should oh, have oh, should yeah. have the objectives oh, out, enemies. all these new rules. There's, oh my goodness. So tactical bump here, activating Hera first. Is the the tactical bumps are gonna be a lot riskier coming up when you had to roll for potential damage. So let's see where Wedge ends up here. Does he clear it or does he bump the foe? Looks like he just got it. That looks like a mm -mm, comfy comfy seat. Right. Unless we don't see any actions, but I mean, oh there it is, focus. Which? Wow! All right, <laughs> he's he's lined up to try to blast another one of these foe fighters. We got Kyle slinging that focus over to Hera. Insert the wedge two Death Stars uh, <laughs> clip right here. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's a com comic book scene. Wedge taking out a stormtrooper in an aggressive manner. We'll call it that. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And here oh, we go, Wedge popping thanks, off three thanks, hits Sarah. and a crit. So, uh, hey. I mean, you might as well spend your own first, yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Oh, hey that's a dead ship. Pop, pop. That's a dead ship. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. <laughs> well, red, uh, well, let's get some Fs in the chat for the red TIE fighter. Never had a chance. No. Uh, Chris, I was hoping to get, you know, at least, uh, you know, a, long, a little bit. I guess, you know, he's still got three ships. He's still got, he's still got three. Four. He's still got four ships. What am I talking yeah, about? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Wedge is taking down 26 point ships. Big deal, Wedge. Yeah, your whole squad supporting you. I would hope so. <laughs> you have one job, brother. <laughs> one. Pretty much. And yeah, I mean, this is this is what Benthic can't be doing. Yep. In the previous versions we had seen in this list earlier in the year is just taking big chunks out of the enemy. Here's the roll. Two hits and a focus. Mm, gonna save it for defense. Tempting? Nah. Chooses violence. Let's go. Chris going for, for the aggression here. So finds the damage on the other foe then. Mm-hmm. That's on pink. Uh-huh. So then we'll have Garvin shoot Redder and then Mish. Gideon. Mm hmm Chris, is that first player? So now hope hopefully here Daniel Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, hit crit. Hit crit. Coming in spicy ah, nutty. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that was for Gideon. So now, if, he, if he's starting to understand the concept, instead of shooting this bomber to Garvin, mm -hmm. you had to shoot this first. If you if you shoot this ship first, he slings the focus around to Hera, and then Hera slings it to Wedge. So order of shooting here, very important. And Kyle's going in to spend for three. Yeah, onto that hurt red. And he's gonna get it. I think they spent the focus. He just wiped he's them out. Gone. Wow. Without uh. <laughs> Without uh, utilizing these Epsilon Cadets mm -hmm. as blockers, yep. the Rebels just have too much action efficiency. Can't can't repel power of that magnitude. Uh, here we go. Two hits. And that's going to do half points on to Wedge. Mm -hmm. Yep, smartly shot... Uh, the one into Wedge first before shooting Garvin. One hit. Natties. I will say if I'm uh, if I'm Daniel, you gotta lean into those proximity, proximity mines because oh, yeah. that can that looks at all of this rebel token sharing and say, you know what? How about no? Yeah. How about you don't get a Gen choice? Yeah, generous on evade to this. <laughs> uh, also, sad, I do want to make a note. Sad that Garvin rolled natties because it would have been really cool to sling that token back to, or Gar yeah, Garvin slinging that focus token back to Kyle to bank it. Oh, man. Sad, sad for who? Sad well, I mean, for sad, sad for Garvin. <laughs> he just can't use his pilot ability. And, uh, man, there's. As uh, what do I want to say? Because this is really like the the meta style Haritani list we've been talking up for mm -hmm. Rebels. This Obviously, is they have the freighters as well, um, and yeah. they have the A wings. They can mix in for like a three A wings and Wedge or three A wings and Luke yep. uh, kind of scenario. But uh, I think this one it, has the highest floor. Oh yeah, out of all of them. Oh yeah, and it's just it just warms my heart that Kyle Cartan is like the meta staple uh -huh. uh, that's that's amazing to me freed from his extended only <laughs> I'm here to destroy and in it's it's funny Garvin Garvin is a ship that before Hera existed you would not see it I mean yeah unless it wouldn't it was, be out there unless it was me <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Once in a while, you, you'd get some uh, uh, some snowflake out there putting him in, it was, in it was its just, list. It was just Garvin and Dutch <laughs> combined together, just giving each other actions the rebel way. Yeah. But now, yeah, with Hera, it's, it is difficult to put Hera in a list and find a reason not to put Garvin in it. Agreed. So half your list is spent. <laughs> like, yeah. If you're going to bring Hera, you've already spent half your points. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we've seen uh, Hera successful in other places. Uh, we've seen it with other A-Wings, with the Hawks. You know, a lot of options there. But So Epionic's saying, I think the Jan version is stronger. So here's the thing. Make sure, make sure to hear what I'm saying, though. I think this one has the highest floor. I did not say it has the highest ceiling. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, Chris, little little uh, little bump here, bump bump. We got big old wings. Uh, pegging violation. This is the. Uh, I think this is the first time we've actually seen the Fury of the First Order bombers uh, in person. I still, I still got to get my pre-order, but I've been falling off on. First order for out, but they are enormous, Dion. They are oh huge. My. They're gorgeous. I They're love those wings. Yeah, intimidating. Uh, I really enjoy them. So many pokey bits. You need those pokey bits. 
All right, so Kyle looks like he's gonna bump into Wedge there. Gonna leave him free to shoot that moldy, co moldy crow front arc. Range one into that bomber who bumped. <laughs> Those poor cadets. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. I mean, that's... The, the list is designed in a way to... And I think Daniel it did his opening, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, besides, you besides, besides hitting the cloud. But yeah. I mean, the cloud <laughs> they really get, threw everything into a wrench. Uh, I agree. But uh, I think you did it right. You, know, you keep the, the fast bombers on the outside. You keep the jousting... Uh, ships up the middle, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, yeah, without those hooks coordinates, uh, they didn't get their evades, and they were just getting shot left and right. Wedge one-shotted two of them. No, 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 Hera helped out on the first one, but he one-shotted one of them, so that's not good. Yeah, they did not spot for very long. <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got some locks distributed out there for the rebellion. And we have Wedge passing through. I know cadets are graduating today. Oof. <laughs> So sad. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, uh, actually, a bit TD brought up uh, a important note. Uh, they did agree before the game to only use the foil markers as the official mm. indication of okay. the foils. And we're not mess not messing with the cards. No, not flipping the cards. It's not the models. It's whatever the token says. So, and that is a. Uh, great way to build rapport with your opponent as we begin to have more and more tournaments uh, it's just a great etiquette for to set these expectations with your opponent whether um, you're in a game store or a you know, competitive event uh, just you know be up front it could really heighten your experience and uh, the relationship with your opponent Otherwise, you'll be halfway through the game and be like, well, I would <laughs> to begin discussing things, right? <laughs> uh, which can become problematic. All right, we got three hits here, two evades. So it looks like just one shield off of blue bomber. Uh, Wedge boosted out of there. No thanks. So we got some shots from... Uh, this would be Gideon. Rolling nothing. Had to bump, unfortunately, with his maneuver. So no modifiers there. All right, so hit, hit, crit here. No, another double evade. Another single shield. So we'll see what Garvin has then. I was gonna say he rolled a hit and two of eights. It's not exactly how X Wing works. But <laughs> we got there there. <laughs> uh, so one damage in ultimately on Gideon. Oh, he's got elusive. Elusive. Oh. That's good. Not gonna do anything Very popular. there. I, I I like how people have come into favor with elusive now. It's no. not a guaranteed thing. I like how it's still a roll, yep. right? And that was a damage on Gideon. Correct, yeah. So Next here we go. Shot. Range one. Crit, focus, hit. Yeah, nobody's got any modifiers for anybody. Nobody's got any modifiers at all. Other than that one elusive charge we mm -hmm. saw. Spent. So anything that's fallen is going through. That's going to be one damage there on Kyle. And now we got a shot. Range one. Two hits. Looking at Hera. Going into Hera. Two shields. Okay. So first order finding some success here. 
And yeah, I mean, we got, I don't think they could boost. Maybe if this guy boosted, this one might be able to take his place there. Ooh, I don't know. Garvin needs to stress. Give me a reason why. Did what? It, what? He four kid. That's why. Uh huh. Assumingly. I'm just. Stress excuse on me. Garvin. Excuse me. Can you put a stress? They, on they got it. They got it. Okay. Oh, but yeah, what do you think, Dion? Do you, can you fit this boost to sneak this boost in there and drop a proxy mine? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. No. That's a boost right onto the rock. All right. Well, look at this rock. This is my home now. You actually, you can't boost onto a rock unless you have some ability that lets you do that. But, but yeah, that'd be bad. What you might end up doing... Oh, that well, I mean, someone says... Uh, well, who is it? Uh, Sil Silvio? Silvio Fijo? I don't know. Anyways, I mean, this, because it depends on what you put on your dial, right? Like, if right. you... Because uh, we could just see Sloop... Sloop? Went to red for some reason. Could see Sloop Sloop, and then that way you don't want to try the boost at all, right? Yeah, that, that's what I was looking at blue, looking at the blue bomber and thinking that the Sloop might be the best choice uh, to get it's it behind, to, and then you could... To tell this arc, though. I think he's going to land right here. But. I, I, think, I think hit the Sloop, you one bank the green one left, and you hang out right there because a good chance you can line up a uh, proximity oh, mine next turn. Oh, okay, okay. See what I'm saying? Just, yeah, yeah, Go, so go ahead, draw it, that off for me. Get out of the way. Uh -huh. And then he can come in here for the blocks. Uh huh. And uh, can keep that uh, proxy mine set up for the following round. That's right. And here we go two hits and a focus on the road roll. And it looks like Daniel's going to stay the first player. Yeah, we still have that matching initiative between Gideon and Garvin. All right, they're double checking, double checking some dials. That look like I'm gonna be slooping to the left. Yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. Step good. step one of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a note here, let me just pull up the uh, the tie bombers maneuvers here. Uh, the oh, SE bomber. Easy. easy. Yeah, well, plenty of space. Plenty of space. Uh, but the the notable problems with that dial is no regular K turns, only sloops. Only sloops, yeah. And your only stress clearing maneuvers are forward. Or so, if if we're going if we're going with a a positive light, uh, you have two different positions you can go get to to turn around. <laughs> turn around. Sweet. Thanks. Uh, Super linings, baby. It's all about them. Well, I mean. This is not factored in the boost and system phase before any of these sloops. So while the dial is unimpressive, the right. things the ship can do is actually very strong. This thing can really move. Yeah. Especially if you compare it to, say, a striker mm -hmm. who has a similar way of moving. Strikers only have the 1K and two sloops. Oh, okay, so he went. he actually went a little bit farther. That looked like a two, three bank. For the the green, excuse me, the yellow bomber. Maybe trying to make some room for uh, Gideon here. Gideon might stop, but imagine. Hmm. I'll see if Kyle gets out of there or not. He did try to dip out to his right before, so might be attempting it again. Going for the barrel roll. Oh, no, sorry, that's just a mark for the Hawk to get through. Uh, Jeff, I, it's a it's a good dial. It just doesn't have anything too crazy. But one, until you factor in the Pursuit Thrusters. Thing's wild. Yeah, the stress is an issue, though. But it's in a faction that has access to Prime Thrusters and Proud Tradition. I think stress is fine. They embrace SC it. Bombers best not be complaining. Yeah, you're fine. They got options. Get a, get a tradition. <laughs> be proud of your traditions. Come on. 
Time right. coaster is pretty expensive. It looks like uh, looks like Gideon is just going to be scooting up here. Ooh. Might wiggle. Oh, no. He's fine. He's fine. I got a mix of which base is that Hawks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Uh, the, the pressure here onto Kyle. I really enjoyed that. If you put a little bit of pressure on Kyle, it's... It's hard for him to choose to give his token away, especially if his arc is here. Hera's gonna be unlikely to cross that line. So gonna have to rely on uh, Garvin yep. to sling that focus to her. And oh. next ship, T-Roll, are we gonna hit that cloud? Oh yeah, here we go. So what's that new cloud, uh, cloud ruling, Will? So once again, uh, if the ship moves through overlaps it, you remove all lock tokens assigned to you, the ones on your ship and the ones owned by you. Then, after the check difficulty step, you would gain one stress token. And after... And he rolled a hit? Yep, and on a hit result, you gonna gain get? one ion token. And a crit result, uh, the ship gains three ion tokens. So, so it's a small base. One, one's enough. Uh, Wedge guaranteed ionized, and is going to be scooting towards an asteroid. Yeah. I don't think he hits it next turn, but it does create a potential problem mm -hmm. the turn after that. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be easy to arc dodge as well for the uh, First Order, because you know the direction he is traveling. Uh, so yeah, for the uh, people who keep track at home, uh, oh yeah, he should have a strain token as well. Uh, that's a 50% chance to be ionized in the new, if you're a small base, in the new gas cloud rules. So he should be... He should be strained as well, he said. Yeah, but I don't think anyone's going to shoot at him, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's that bomber. He's going to shoot at Kyle, range one. Isn't that range zero? Oh, no, I guess it hit. Yeah. Okay, three hits into Gideon. Okay. Sometimes you just do it like you do. It's going to be long range. Let's see, Gideon's down. The other shield and two hull. Two eyeballs here. So it didn't look like anything going on there. Ooh, hit, hit, crit. Single evade onto Hera. She's gonna be half points. All right, dice in the box here. Going to spend the target lock from Garvin, put out three hits into Gideon. Gideon needs that squiggle. Uh, spend to live. There you go, thank you, Chris. I'm reminding him that he did take that focus modifier, did not spend it on the previous attack. What a, what a gentlemanly uh, show of sportsmanship, love to see it. Uh, let's see, three here, so Kyle's shot's going to clear Gideon off of it. Uh, this token right here is an S-Foils token, not a target lock. Uh, for those who uh, were double-checking here, this thing that spells wrath, that should be a uh, A-Foils token. Okay, bomber. Three hits into Kyle. We're gonna see the focus spend. So this is going to be, did not sling the, did not sling the evade from Hera there to convert. Cause we got one more attack coming in here. Range one. 
into Hera. Hera's already halved, does have that focus token available. All right, the GSP walkie is set up. <laughs> okay. Where'd you put it? Uh, it's hidden up there. You can't see it, right? Uh, it's on the... You can see it hanging down just a little bit next oh, to the light. Oh, I see light. it below it. I see it below. Yeah, yeah. All right, two hits. Uh, Focus on blank. Spend for two. No damage on Hera. From long, yeah. long range. Well, it was a uh, bomber shooting into Kyle, I think. Ah, uh, yes. Hera doing the Hera thing. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, I'm going to fix a couple things. Bob, right back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fell fast. No worries, no worries, man. All right. All right. So we got 24 minutes of change left on the clock. I want to remind you that this round is brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code. LVO22 LVO22 to get your 22% off Alright There has been a warning for the <laughs> there has been no warnings for pegs. And that's okay. <laughs> and dials are getting set down here. So Will's just double checking everything right now. Double checking our health to make sure that we are A okay. We're looking good? All right. Those guys are having fun. I like to hear it. That's good. That's good. Oh, the best X-Wing is when both players have good vibes going into the game. Yeah, you can tell body language. I mean, oh, yeah. Dan Daniel's uh, a bit upset with his arms crossed, but I just think it's the lack of options he has right now. Yeah. Which is understandable. I mean, you're down to two ships. Yeah, I put the strain out. <laughs> they apologize. I was like, it no, no worries. It doesn't matter. All right. I think we're going to get that boost over, and we're going to get a drop. Ooh, we call this the hop yeah. and drop. The hop and drop coming Doing through. Beaver tail. Hello. Come on, Daniel. Get yours. All get right. yours. Boom. So pizza, pizza comes down. Beaver tail slip. Special delivery. So it takes one automatically. And, and then one boom, more. Uh, another on the die roll. Kyle's and gone. That, Kyle on. is off the board. That's 126. I'm telling you, you know, Daniel has been able to keep uh, keep pace. And I, I said, listen, I said those bombs. Those the bombs, bombs the were proxies. going to do, do some work. See, I don't, I don't know if I like this. That is an aggressive play. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He wants to make sure to have his guns on. Right, he's doing these like uh, big sweeps, right? You, you come in, you sweep, you come back. I like the sweeps if the TIE Fighters were alive. Oh my goodness, did we hit? That's yeah. a rock. Takes an automatic Ooh. damage on that one. Dude. That's a shield. I believe, to quote Daniel, yeah, that should fit. And <laughs> that's another damage. Remember, Ooh. automatic damage on the asteroid yes. plus one more if you roll the hit. That is correct. And if you do not fully go through it, uh, if you, so basically, so there's two different things. If you're unfamiliar, there's, there's move through, which is your template. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's overlap, which is where your ship lands. Your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, uh, and those are key phrases in X-Wing. We don't use those offhand. Those are rule defined terms, move through and overlap. Yep. So. Um, when we say, yeah, move through to get an action, it would be just your template. I guess your ship could be on it. Like right now. If right, overlapping is your final position, exactly. Right. There you go. That's a good way to put it. All right. Now, Wedge did scoot up looking at that uh, 
at that asteroid, it mm-hmm. the Open asteroid way. looks a little bit, little bit in the way. <laughs> like just, yeah. just a smidge for next turn. We'll find out. Yeah. So Hera should be able to move and just take a lock. Might need to barrel roll lock. To get into range two, a wedge here, but. Or, I mean, this dude's not shooting at you, right? Ah, sorry, I'm stealing your mouse. Yeah, no that, guy's, that guy's not shooting at you, so you could, yeah, bear roll and then lock him. So you could give it to Garvin for a double modified shot. Absolutely beautiful. Those new S foils on the B wings. Yeah, the, so the only reasons we haven't made videos on the on the new rules is we just want the confirmation. I want I know I want it in writing, mm-hmm. um, just so that we can actually like reference and use it for the scripting. I try not to be too willy, willy nilly when it comes to those direct uh, direct rules. Just kind of like, oh, all right, let's learn me, this stuff together. There's going to be a lot of content coming out once once those new rules hit. Yeah, there's going to be a lot to talk about. Did I put it on the wrong ship? That's telling me I something something's wrong. Well, all, both bombers are all shields down, so. Got it. Okay, so missed missed those two. What is that range ruler? That is one of the, oh, what the official call, premium ones. official. I'm I'm not a fan. Just go like personally, I don't like <laughs> the, the in in hand feel of them. Mm-hmm. Fair. Hit, crit, crit. That's uh, he's uh, wedge ability and minus one agility. That means you're getting popped off right there. Hit crit crit could be it. Wounded and disabled power regulator. Well, alive. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so that's that was the yellow one. That's down to one. Oh, more and hot fire here. More, and that's three more damage digging in. It that one's going into the blue should one. Been, should have been hit, hit, crit. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. Because if you. Let me look at this bomber dial again. Do you got hard ones? You might need to utilize them. <laughs> Red yeah. hard one. I mean. So you try the boost, and if it fits, you end up here. If you fail the boost, you end up over here. Daniel whiffs on the attack here, two hits. You, I think you have to put that hard one in, right? And then still attempt the boost just in case. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not attempt the boost, but at one health, he might not be able to get free of that rock. Obstacles coming in big this round. Mm -hmm. Is the nub clear? That's what I'm worried about. I I don't I I, I don't think it is. What do you think, chat? Looking, looking at wedge. Looking at wedge. Are the nubs? No, not, clear? not wedge. This guy. Is that? Is that? I mean, nub wedge. Clear? Wedge got nubs to worry about it too. No. No. no? Wedge is hitting it. Wedge got it all all day. No, wedge is hitting it. Yeah, for sure. All right. Will coming over here saying E Z baby. Oh, look, see, I knew, I knew what Epionic was talking about. So he was like, I was meaning Wedge. The, the <laughs> no, I wasn't meaning Wedge. Oh, I wasn't. I'm going to erase your, your letters. <laughs> it, it was. I, I was. I will like, edit you. I was so talking censors. about Wedge. Jeez, you've been hanging out with Farmer too much. <laughs> Censoring the masses. Listen, I, <laughs> I ain't even going there. I ain't even going there. <laughs> That's a door. We're going to leave it closed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, zoom in the camera, you know. Just swivel it around to the other side, Dion. Yeah. 
How, how All about? the things we could do. Oh, here, no, I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got him. There we go. You can actually enhance. We do have that technology. We can do what? We can copy uh, and do one of those. And take this and go down here. Enhance. Enhance. Where are you going? Where are you going? What's I'm it? just making. I gotta grab the corners. Oh, fair enough. All right. So, what, what do we want to look at? This this nub. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I don't what, know. what do y'all? What do y'all think? I don't know about that. You get a little bent when you do the hard one or one bank, but yikes! All right, we'll find out. Hey, tune O P T V. Turn up, turn up. Sign up with that Prime Gaming. Exclamation point, Prime. Get yourself a free subscription. It looks like he was clear. He just did a boost. Was that the boost? Uh, yeah, his dial's still face down. So. There it is. Easy, baby. So which direction are you going now? Going to help Wedge? Yep, setting up that proxy. So this is actually interesting. So you can tell right here, that's where that proxy is going to be. If he's alive to drop it. <laughs> this, you, you try. You try. You set yourself up for glory. Let's see what happens. One straight yep. off of the ionization from the disabled power regulator. One straight focus. You weren't going to do anything else anyway. Happy uh, I think I think Chris has realized the the end of this game has a. Uh, has an outcome in his favor. So, uh, no reason to crush your opponent. Let them have a good day as well, right? Have, oh, let crush, them have a fun crush fun them. round. Crush them, Will. Yeah, I mean, geez. <laughs> if you're not making your opponent feel bad, you know. You're not really trying <laughs> hard enough. All right, that's going to be a block right there. Oh, no. All right, so no action for Garver. Remember, we're not playing with the bumping rules yet. Will not it's not live at this premiere event. We need to do a I think at the for when we put these up on YouTube a like little insert at the beginning of the video for what for the uh, for the rules for the rules like, that makes boom, a lot of sense yeah and then go yeah I'll throw another slide in there that's a good idea actually because we uh, the what we've been posting lately uh, has been varying rules yeah all, all kinds of stuff. How you doing, buddy? Doing great, man. Good to see you guys. William Hagwood got some 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 fam walking around. Uh, that's the uh, that's uh, the store owner and uh, the used to be uh, like the. Oh, what did Wedge just eat the rock? Yeah, of course. He sure did. He just flew, just flew over it. Yeah, he got you on purpose. Um, that was uh that was the store owner and like the guy who would set up the, like the X wing. Uh, uh, game nights at oh. the, the game store I originally started going to. So there you go. It's like uh, it's like your childhood friends coming to see you. You know. That's right. And this is this is uh, two damage spend after the lock there, and that blue bomber goes pop pop. Yep. Harris got a chance to clean out green as well. Finish this game right here, right now. There it is, range two. How does Wedge have a focus? Because he, he fully, or he moved through mm -hmm. the rock. He moved through the obstacle. Mm -hmm. Natties, there it is. Ooh, okay. Daniel had a little sideways toss on that one. A little, a little bit of mustard. And Garvin with a one hit. One of eight. The bomber refuses to die. Okay. I will not go quietly into the night. Can he, can he take down Wedge then? Hit crit spin yeah, there for Daniel. Let's go. 
Pop, pop, wedge right. goes off the table. Only oh, elusive. elusive. Oh. Hit crit, though. Hit crit. I think that's still it for crit, him anyway, still right? Crit. No. Oh, it's just one, yep. The and it's a fuel leak. Oh, no. Steals the glory. So sad. <laughs> I wasn't bragging about childhood and friends. I was like 20. <laughs> What's what's Six, what's wrong with seven? what's wrong with bragging about childhood friends, if you got them? Yeah, it's good. They uh, they uh, they moved on to Legion at the store, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean that's good for them to keep the community. Yeah. You know, for the store going, but unfortunately, X Wing's kind of uh, petered off for a while. Um, just you know, waiting for those new rules, get some excitement brewing again, some scenario play. You know, of course. Just like any other game store right now. You know, I gotta say, I don't think I'm friends with anybody from my childhood. I was trying to think about that. Like, yeah. who's my who's my oldest friend these days? Like, uh, and yeah, it was like someone I met when I was like 16 or 17. Yeah. But I, also, I, I but hung also, out with family a lot. Cause I have oh. a, I have like a bajillion cousins. Okay. Okay. So, but Why like not? from school. I, mean, I was telling you Next. guys last night that like my grad, my like uh, middle school class was like 24 kids, mm -hmm. so like not a lot of options <laughs> there. I think my my oldest friend is probably um, probably Jav might be Javier. Devin? No, okay, <laughs> Javier. It would be her actually her. Uh, one of her, her co-workers, Javier Payano. He was an orchestra with me in high school. Oh, okay. I think that's that would be it. Oh, and, the, and follow, followed by Lauren, who I ended up going to college with. All right, this bomber scooting up. So does he does he make through? <laughs> Those big old wings. <laughs> <laughs> I I think this the, the the these Thai FO bombers they're just out there wanting hugs. I guess so. I don't know. I really. Seven minutes for the stream table. Seven minutes for the stream table. We use the walkie-talkie. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I think they really, like, visually knocked it out of the park with the uh, the Fury of the First Order ships. As much as we can complain about Wylo, you know, not being as good as we all hoped he would. It's it's a good pack. It it they do look beautiful. They do they do look good. They play good. A freezier hugging. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, Garvin takes a strain over the uh, over the cloud as it is automatic after doing that uh, that roll there. Yeah. I assume this is his blank that he rolled mm -hmm. for the ion tokens. No ions. Man, those those clouds, man, risky business. Always stuff happening through there. <laughs> I don't. The, these clouds are scary now. I don't know if I want to <laughs> play with them. I mean, they don't do damage, right? But wow, the penalties they have instead. All right, so Suma Six Harris minutes. just creeping. Yep, yep. One, one, sh one straight and said, listen. It was, it was nice. It was, it was nice, nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> full, full blade wing time. Open up, open up the S foils. Ooh. All right, two blanks. So do you save it? Well, I guess, yeah, you just use it now. Two, got an Addy here. To stay in the game, mm -hmm. Kenyon Eddie. No, no, and that is the game. All Congratulations, right, yeah, Chris Alvey, getting the W there. One hundred two to two hundred. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Profit, 
Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.